All right, so we do have this exercise as shown in figure P517, this figure, a reversible, a reversible uh, power cycle receives energy QH by its transfer from a hot reservoir at TH, so, and rejects energy QC by uh, heat transfer to a cold reservoir at TC. So we have this figure, that's uh, for sure delivering uh, mechanical energy as work by or after receiving a thermal energy QH from a hot reservoir at TH and uh, an amount of energy as a thermal energy QC is lost to the cold reservoir at TC. So for the first question here. If TH is 1600 Kelvin and TC is 400 Kelvin, what is the thermal efficiency? So for A, we can see that efficiency so would be equal to the TH minus TC divided by H for sure that makes it as 1 minus TC divided by TH so replace each term uh, with its value for tau that would be equal 1 minus for TC we say that this is 400 divided by 1600 let's calculate this So 1 minus 400 divided by 1600, this is making it as 0 0.75, which is equal to 75%. For B, if TH is 500 TC, uh, degree C, TC equal uh, 20 degree C, and the W cycle, the work is 1000 kilojoule. What are uh, QH and QC each in kilojoules? So, what we can see here is again, I calculate the efficiency for this because it's reversible. We can just calculate it as tau again is 1 minus TC divided by TH. But we need to pay attention here. The temperatures are given in degree C and we need for sure to convert them to the kilvins. TC is equal to 20 degrees C, let's make it as 20 plus 273 to convert it to, to, the, to the kilvins. So the result here is 293 kilvins. The same for TH. This is 500 degrees C. This is 500 plus 273. So this is 90, 70, or 973 Kelvin, which means the total would be equal to 1 minus 293 divided by 973. So, 1 minus this ratio to 9,3 divided by 9,7 and 3. This is point 0.69, which means 69%. Now, we do have the value of W. Make some space here. The tau is defined also as W divided by QH, which means for this state, we need to calculate the QH. The QH for, our, for us here is, that would be W divided by tau, replacing its term here with its value, QH would be equal to 1000 as given here.
in kilojoules divided by the two, which is 0 0.69. So we have 1000 divided by 0 0.69. That's making it as 1.5 four hundred forty nine kilojoules this is for QH now for QC we have also W is just QH absolute value minus absolute value of QC so QC would be equal to QH minus W. QC, sorry, QC here would be equal to 1449 minus 1000. So QC would be equal just 449 kilo joules. That's what is lost to the surroundings as thermal energy. This is for B and for C now. If tau is 40% uh, uh, and TH is 727 uh, degree C, what is TC in degree C? So let's move here. For C, we have tau equals to 40%. That's making it as 0.4. This is the volume of, of tau. We do know that the expression of tau is 1 minus Tc divided by Th. Now, we have the value of the Th as degree C. The tau would be equal to 1 minus Tc divided by 727, but we need to convert it to the Kelvins again. This is to 73. Let's calculate it. 727 plus 273. That is just... 1000. This is 1 minus Tc divided by 1000. Now for Tc, resolve this for Tc. Uh, Tc divided by 1000 would be equal to 1 minus 2. That is 1 minus 0.4. This is 0.6. So add Tc in Kelvin would be equal to 0.6 times 1000 so 1000 times 0.6 that equates easy this is just 600 Kelvin so we asked to, uh, to find the Tc in degree C. It's quite easy now to convert the Tc to the degree C. Tc is 600 Kelvin. That will be equal to 600 minus 273. This is 327 degree C. That's it for this exercise. See you in the next one.